And what is going on YouTube? Just another game channel bring you just another video. So guys, we're back here with some more armored videos. Uh, this time we're going to be doing the uh, ornaments for the new Warlock armor. And let's get this bad boy up and running. Can't grant it in. So I think they're all called Siege Breaker. Now just let me check guys because I might not have applied this yet. So if I, oh no, wait, there I have. Oh, have I? They look different, don't they? They look like they've got bones all wrapped around them. We'll take it. Yeah, they're applied. And just, just to be sure. I'm going down the colours for some reason because I'm special. Okay, if I did that, uh, no, nothing. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's the applied version. Alright, so we did the hunter the other day, and so let's have a look at the uh the splosh block. I've got to admit I do like the uh the full set of armor for all these. Again, I had it I had them all in grey. Uh I don't think it'd work necessarily with the uh, this particular armor set. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Wow, it looks it really does look complex. It looks like they've almost what's that what's that game that I bought? It's quite good, but really shit, so they're making a two point You get those suits and you fly around and stuff. Anthem. Yeah, something like that. It, that <laughs> this reminds me a lot of their suits. Um but actually the Anthem game's really great, the mechanics of it. Feels like Destiny feels that sort of good. Same as the weapons and stuff. But they just missed the mark by about they're about eighty five percent off. They got the core mechanics right. They got the world design right. Although they need, they need more cityscape and you know stuff. But anyway, so overall, guys, we've got the antennas or whatever. The, so it's different. With with the hunter, we had like a canister. This looks like this is a, actually a, a, a communication system. Um, multiple antennas. Um, I love I love the high collar there. Again, I want to add something different with this high collar. Is this thing's worn as a collar? That's quite cool. Goes into the chest. Okay, let's get in there. And the reason I've got no mods on these, I've I've not used them yet, guys. So I've not got around to using these, these sets of armor yet. So, um, are these the eye eye ports here? This one and this one, or or are there none? Um, again, it feels like it's a mix between escalation protocol and. Perhaps Braytex, the the mar the escalation protocol armor and and Braytex or something. I'm not quite sure, but um, interesting. Yeah, so you've got this, like you've got the collar there, the actual collar to the um, armor itself, and then you've got this like this framework coming out of it, holding this large piece of metal up around you, around your neck, and it's bolted. Looks like it's bolted to your. Uh, I wish it. I wish it wouldn't. Move, bring the stats up when you move. So there's a the front collar. Looks like this thing's bolted. This orange thing's bolted all the way around. A helmet. Um, it remind. I'm thinking. Um, I'm th I'm, I can't think of anything specific, which means I'm thinking lots of things specific. But I can't. I can't, can't pull out a name. But I'm thinking lots of different anime. Animes that I watch right now. Um, but that is cool armor. So these these th these four features up front is a quick it just looks like quick release mechanisms. Um, maybe these three eyes, these lights, are, as the full there's a full sensorium there, and full all specs and scanners and you know you can you can zoom in and identify friendly or foe targeting systems, um, a scan for radar and. Uh, all types of passive and aggressive uh, identification systems, weapon target systems. Again, I'm just theorising, guys, but I like the idea. Yeah. So the little cables for uh, power systems or communication. It's it could just be a water tube actually, because I'm just thinking you won't want that there, would you? Open like that, you rip that off and your communication's gone. I don't know. So whatever this is, is plugged into his neck and then it's plugged into this and then you've got the old uh, walkie talkie walkie talkie, good old days type thing 
I like the back pouches, that's pretty cool. And the asymmetrical armor again, this this right side uh, shoulder blade, pretty cool. Um, looking good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do this all the time, don't I, guess? So look, every battle is a lesser. The true victor is the one who can learn quicker. So I've got a feeling that's a reference to learning the darkness powers. I mean, I'm just guessing at this point, but that's, that's how it feels to me. So the head fast gloves. So again, these this is all about the, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's the, what are these ornaments called, guys? Let's have a look. Yeah, this, this is all about the Seize Breaker armor, armor set, okay? When it in the ties a little bit about the Seize Breaker armor set. Nobody's hands will be clean in the end. Okay, so not messing around. Uh, what's the opposite of uh, cl cleanliness? Dark, you know, when something's uh, dirty, it's, you know, it's dark, when it's clean, it's light, da, da, da. you get the metaphors there. You also take that as a literal sense that, yeah, we're all gonna have to get his hands dirty. Uh, oh, look at the armor on this, I love this. You've got like a multi-layered, uh, like a reptilian system. Uh, I wonder if that engages and goes flat. <sighs> so, sorry guys, I hate it when I sign in and out automatically for no reason. Uh, I wonder if that is like a, yeah, like a reptilian system that uh, interlocking armor plates uh, that during combat they'll move and like locking around the arms and locking around the wrist and you know they, they cut off fatal areas from being damaged uh, you've got oh you've got a display on the top that's oh so cool that's so cool um, but I do like that that type of that it's like an armadillo armor set it's really cool uh, left arm uh, so the right arm we've got some as well and also we've got the raised shoulder you know I love the asymmetrical um, designs and the, the, any asymmetrical design is actually very uh, accurate historically so if you had, if you wanted to protect your shoulder it depends which arm you are but you won't protect both sides of your neck you'd, you'd have the side facing the enemy uh, you'd have a high like piece like that coming off your shoulder in front of you, it'd cover your neck in case you want, you know. Um, but usually, lacquer materials would stop both being made. Uh, you won't have one on your left shoulder and right, and uh, you know, materials depends how important you are. Um, but yeah, so and the, these new arm sets are very cool. Um, it's a shame because everything I've had, I've had it in grey, and and it looked it looked it looked really awesome. So, um, the overall um, armor piece from the front, all of in the detail. So we've got a workout uh, read out on the wrist, we've got a more powerful cogitator, can you tell I've been listening to Warhammer? Um, you know, more powerful AI system or pad or computational system, or it could even be defense grid uh, systems activation, I don't know. Um, but it could, it could be it could be the warlock's grimoire for all we care. You know, magic's taken on a more technological turn. But I love I love this armor. These little look at this the, these like armadillo type plates that like might move and lock into place. I think that's a nice, really nice touch. So we we're used to the warlock like well this is female, but we used to like the the cloak or the skirt. This is a female. I love the waistband there, the orange. Moving into the the blue leather, um, this is just like the hunter's cloak. This, so that's kind of cool to see. Um, the the legs here uh, are plain blue, uh, from what I remember. And with the ornament, you get this white additional white padding or protection or armor, um, and you get like you get additional stuff around the knee. Um, Around the knees, you know, a lot of, I think that's. I know. Uh, I think snipers like to float down and just stomp people in the neck with these things. Um, but I mean, that's 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 an awesome looking uh, warlock, guys. You've got to admit, it, awesome looking warlock. See, I've just found my Frumia set on my hunter, and and I'm wearing that now. And I'm like, damn it, I've got all this new gear as well. Damn it. Ah. Um, 
Let's have a look at the armband. Let's see what's that. That's about. Oh, did we, did we read? Did we read? Uh, so look, death will become a good friend to you here in the gap. Do not fear it. Wield it. So this is this is relating to that um, uh, message. Also, I think I think I, from what I've seen from the from the cuts, I think the darkness has got finds you and finds all guardians but you specifically uh particularly intriguing that like the power you wield you've you've outpowered everyone else that exists all your colleagues the vanguard i wouldn't be surprised if you be made vanguard in destiny 3 that was so cool um i think it knows you're special i think it knows you're gonna wield the darkness and maybe that is what maybe that's what it's been waiting for maybe it's not the great big bad from all the lore, it looks like the evil's not the bad one either, but the evil one's like bored and said, look, enough, no more death. Stop destroying everything I create. Right. Hold fast spot. I stood on the frigid cliff watching the smoke and flames rising from the city and made a vow, never again. Right. Okay. Okay. Call array. So that's the look at the. Um... Come on. And this is why they've got to delete some planets. It's only, I think, 120, 130 gig. Uh, you can't add uh, this Mass Effect expansion without doing some serious damage. So it is a rocking... That just looks great, doesn't it? It's really hard not to hurt anything else. Um, we're going to look at shadows. Go oh, shadows. We're going to look at shaders. Because I'm curious. How, how does my... How does my fair... Uh, Grayscale undergrowth work on this. Is it fair at all? Oh, actually, no, that that works all right. I love it. I do. It just with this with this level of complexity in the design. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say you need color. Um, damn, that's heartbreaking. So let's try. Nah, too ordinary, too easy. I mean, there's so many I don't have access to right now. Uh, there's lots that I've not earned yet, but mainly I just can't hold. Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of shaders in my uh, collections, so sort of, um, and sort of iron banner stuff. Let's have a look. Green, that 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 works okay. That works okay. It's a lot of bit terrestrial. I think we're an armor set that um extraordinary from a design point of view it doesn't need to be um a, ter a terrestrial look it doesn't need to be earthy tones which i've gone for again you know i've gone for the gold and silver the, the browns um what i'd love to do is try mixing different okay do your legs and arms this color do this you know but I, i've never got the time um oh oiled gun metal give it a dirty look Hey, actually, that works relatively nice. Can you see it? It's ricocheting off the colours. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking outside, guys. I'm surprised people aren't shouting at each other next. The problem is here is there isn't one really. It does look a bit. The only problem is it does look uh, bounty hunter type character. Um, not that's a problem, I suppose. Crystal Carmine, you sometimes produce some nice reds. I mean, yeah, we've got some real nice, dark, powerful reds there, but we've got this white smock apron. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, I don't know what. Sorry, if you can hear people shouting, they're out on the front, guys. Like two, two or three houses away every night. It drives me nuts. <laughs> um, okay, rivalry. Black sand. I, I, I said the other week I'm gonna have to go into the into the shaders and start looking at them because there's so many I don't have and there's so many I don't use right here that I that I used to use that looked really great on stuff. So the Mad Monk when that when I first this this looked great on loads of stuff. This mainly looks good on weapons, but that looks quite good. It's got like a carbon fibre finish. Oh, black leather. Um, it's not bad at all, is it? Do you think? Is that? 
you know. Um, then we've got to go with the old, good old uh, Vanguard. Some of the Vanguards. There's only like one that works these days, <laughs> which is Vanguard Unity, which are the deep, nice deep orange and blues. Uh, some, something nice about that, uh, about the orange, but it looks. It looks really nice, it looks really clean, but I think that's a problem. It looks too clean. It's like this is this this looks like even this doesn't look like their level of tech, does it? It looks future tech guys. What do you think? Am I wrong? Um Iron Bone. Burgundy with silver and gold. Like, I get that. Oh the silver gun. Look at that look at that leather. That, that looks nice. And then the, sh the shiny silver helmet and chest plate. That looks, I think that could work, but it always comes to bat me in the face somehow, and I don't know how. So, at the moment, I'm tending to leave the colours as they are until I can really figure out what what to do. Um, so, Gambit Chrome, this is just full on, you know, shine. Uh, looks blue at times. The Arctic. Um, shader is, is is really good. Um, don't know how good it is on this. It gives it enough complexity uh, and not doesn't overwhelm it on on hey look at me I, I'm an alpha male type thing you know. But I'm honestly stuck, guys. If you've got if you've got any recommendations, I never asked this. I'm going to start asking. If you've got any recommendations, please feel free to leave comments below and I will I will have a look and see how it works. Shadow of Guilt. Oh that purple's quite nice. Hmm, interesting. Anywho guys, uh, that's the warlock uh, for now. Um so I've got lighthouse sun. And, see that's nice. That's not nice. I like the lighthouse sun. That's nice. I've got one copy of the shader. Um, suffice it to say, guys. Um, yeah, this is the uh, warlock in the siege break uh, ornament armor set from the Holdfast armor set, um, which is all about the season pass. So that's what this is. That's what you get. Uh, I hope that's enough for you guys. <clears throat> I appreciate you watching. Sorry, videos haven't been flowing like crazy, guys. Um, it's been one mountain bike injury, injury after another, and uh, it's kept me somewhat bedridden, I'll be honest. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all on the next one. By the way, feel free to like and subscribe anytime. Uh, I've got, I've, I need to start saying that at the beginning i think something like only four percent of uh view of all total views are actually subscribed um so if you made it to the end can you just put um four percent put four and then a percent to let me know you've watched it and let's try and do better guys let's try and uh try and do better as i start to do better videos I'm hoping to make better production quality videos and then at some point when I get enough viewers maybe start a discord or a patreon and then we'll really could make some awesome content and I would have the resources to be able to do that that would be so cool all right guys again thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one so cheers <laughs>